Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of the Las Vegas Advisor Weekly Update with Anthony and Andrew. Today is Thursday, January 18th, 2020. 24. Uh, we're going to be talking about resort fees uh, in this episode, but first we got a few announcements coming up. Right, hang around. Uh, you know, there's some big news on this on the resort fees um, crashing up through the fifty dollar mark now, and we're, which is wild. Yeah, yeah. we're going to talk about that's what this show is going to be about. But a couple of the interesting things: uh, the volcano, the Mirage yeah. volcano, is going to be down. They say temporarily for a month. Mm -hmm. Well, they are building the Paramount Mountain. Now, what is that? I don't really know. Okay. I'm going to read. I'm going to read it to you. This is what we wrote in LVA. All right. Because it's hard to explain. So the Mirage Volcano will be converted to a snow-capped mountain atop a block-long venue that will house various quote fan experiences in time for the Super Bowl. Paramount Global, parent company of CBS, which will broadcast the game, is creating the attraction that will feature content from shows such as Transformers, Yellowstone, and Star Trek, along with a 4D simulation gondola ride at the mountain's peak. Paramount Mountain will open on February 8th. It's not clear if it will remain after the Super Bowl or if the volcano dormant since F1 preparations began will ever return. Well, I don't know. Does that make any sense to you? I get why that's confusing. Yeah, I don't get it. There's going to be yeah. a gondola ride on top of it. Gondola. So, so if you didn't get enough gondola ride at the Venetian, now we have another gondola ride right there on the I don't the, get it. Don't you, don't you need canals for a gondola? So I don't, I don't really understand. I they're going to build something for the Super Bowl yeah. on top of the the volcano. The volcano is going to be dormant, not working for the next, you know, through the Super Bowl, and then who knows what. Okay. So just, you know, we're letting people know. All right. Well, it's Paramount, like Paramount Studios. So the big mountain, maybe they slide down the mountain. I guess. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe they're skiing. I don't know. <laughs> we need snow. So, Anthony, what's going on with the bridge uh, by Ellis Island on Flamingo? Well, they were going to, they talked about making it a permanent uh, structure there. Now they're going to dismantle the one that's up now, mm -hmm. and that's going to start Sunday. And um, I don't know if they're going to put a permanent one up or not. There's just too many complaints about the bridge going over, you know, Koval, hurting the businesses there, Ellis Island among them. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't think they're going to do a permanent bridge. I think they're going to take it down. That intersection is going to be closed from this Sunday all the way through February 1st. So here we go again, another 10 days of closures on Flamingo. Right, so that means more traffic. Yeah, you know, again, more F1-related traffic, you know, yeah. it's still happening. But that bridge, I hate to see it go. I like the bridge. I like it, too. I like the bridge. Keep the bridge. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going down. Now, whether they build over it and make it permanent, yeah. you know, remains to be seen. But um, Flamingo Bridge, uh, not long for uh, Flamingo. You know why I like the bridge? Because it's fun to drive over. It is fun. It, it kind of goes, it goes boomity boom yeah, when you yeah. go to the top of it, it's, right? It's kind of fun. It's kind of like a ride. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so last episode, we talked about the food eating competition that was going down at Bagel Mania. Now, uh, Anthony, Joey Chestnut won. Joey Chestnut won. The he favorite. Was, uh, that was the bagel eating contest. Mm -hmm. How many bagels can you eat in eight minutes? Um, was there any locks? The only locks, apparently, was Joey himself. He was a lock. I mean, okay, he was no, a lock to win it, baby. Yeah, but not really. He yeah. uh, he won by half a bagel only. Half a bagel. But he uh, he ate 15 bagels in eight minutes. Jeff Esper was second, ate 14.5 bagels. All right. And people asked me, how much did they make for that? I didn't know. And I thought it was 10,000, but that was the entire prize pool was 10 grand. First place, Chestnut got 5,000. Okay. So I'm 5,000 for eating, eight, uh, you know, 15 bagels. Okay. You do the math. That's... <laughs> it sounds like he won by like, sounds like he won by about 3%. That's good. Yeah, it's strong. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, a tough way to make a living, I reckon. Oh, I bet. Yeah. yeah. So there is your answer on that one. All right. Anthony, everybody wants to know, can we get an update on the member rewards book? Member rewards book will be in-house tomorrow. Nice. So Friday. Uh, Friday, January 19th, tomorrow. Okay. We don't know when. It was supposed to be in, in today, mm -hmm. and uh, tracking told us that it wasn't going to make it here till tomorrow. Um, we will be distributing them to people who come in. We'll be putting them in the mail tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know when they're going to arrive. So call here first. If okay. you want to come down and pick it up, they were calling today at 9.01. They, you know, the phone was ringing. Are the member rewards books in? Yep. Um, no. Tomorrow, call first. When they're here, we'll be here all day till 5 o'clock, maybe a little after, mm -hmm. to make sure that you can pick up yours before the weekend. And then, uh, of course, uh, bright and early Monday. Okay, Andrew, so now we'll, uh, we'll tease your event. Yes. 
uh, Saturday night? That's right. This Saturday, uh, the 20th, I will be at Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club at The Link. Big time. Yes, and I will be uh, performing on the show with your buddy Gooch from uh, Comp, which is a uh, radio station out here he's good. in uh, Las Vegas. Yeah, he's great. So uh, it's going to be a wild show. I hope everybody comes down. It's a late show. It's 1130, so you know, grab a drink, and, the, and come there's, down. And there's you looking just dressed like Jimmy Kimmel. That's right. That's, That's uh, right. Uh, I'm right. I replaced my face with uh, Jimmy. Terrific. All right. <laughs> hey, uh, 11.30. Okay, you're going to be wearing your uh, your fancy jacket that people are asking about. Yeah, you know we we got a comment uh, about Andrew. Can you can you tell us what kind of jacket? I wore this jacket on purpose today because of the comment. So okay. I do want to address. Some people have asked about my clothing uh, in the comments. I don't know where I get any of this stuff. Like you know, sometimes I don't remember where I buy stuff or where it comes from. So this is a uh, a BLK denim jacket and there's really not much else that identifies it other than that so All right. you know 42 years in los angeles uh and then three years in vegas now you just accumulate clothing from places i don't know good i got this shirt from uh, goodwill down on uh on uh, fremont all right, perfect. All right, so you see, we kind of shop in a similar fashion. Yeah, very good. Uh, so that's that's the best I got. Sorry, uh, but if you come out Saturday night, it's going to be a good time. All right, now let's get into the meat of this episode, Anthony. Uh, let's talk about the resort fees. They are breaching fifty dollars. Um, they're they they've smashed through the fifty dollar level. What does that you mean? Know, that, well, that means that they're going up. And yeah, they, they continue to go up. Everybody hates resort fees like crazy. Yeah, I mean resort fees and parking fees is is what everyone hates, but mostly resort fees. They've been around for a long time. They're very. Um, uh, there was a great article written uh, by a, a woman named Gabby Birnbaum mm -hmm. for Nevada Independent, and uh, in that article, I read that only six percent of hotels charge resort fees throughout the United States, but in in the in Vegas, it's almost a hundred percent. Right, and they keep going higher and higher and higher. And it was just announced uh, yesterday that MGM Grand is raising the fees at where? At uh, the, the, the Bellagio, Aria, Vidara, MGM Grand, and Cosmopolitan mm -hmm. to base fees of $50. Okay. Now, they put taxes on top of these. Mm -hmm. So those fees are over $50, you know, probably $55, $56, getting up that, that high. Mm -hmm. And it's getting absolutely ridiculous. And there, there's no end in sight to this. Mm -hmm. You know, the new places that opened up, Fountain Blue opened up with a $51.02 resort fee. Okay. Durango opened up. Durango, way, way out there, $50.85 resort fee. Mm -hmm. uh, Green Valley Ranch already was $51.30 per night. You know, per night. Red Rock, $50.85 a night. Um Who's next? Caesars is going to be next. Oh, sure. You yeah. Because Caesars, poor Caesars now, you know, at, at Caesars Palace in Nobu, they're only charging $45.95. So they're next. They're going to go, you know, they're going to go right. over the $50 mark. Right, right. And, you know, there's just, there's no stopping this. They, they've been there in the $40, $45 range for a while. For quite a while. But what they yeah. do is they, they chip them up slowly. Mm -hmm. They go up by a dollar, two dollars at a time. But uh, MGM said, fooey on you, man. We're going five bucks this time. Okay. And, they, you know, they popped it all the way up to 50. And that was sort of like the barrier. Everybody's wondering, you know, where does it, where does it stop? It's not going to go over 50 bucks, is it? Mm -hmm. But it is. So resort fees. All right. So why do they do it? Well, I think part of the reason is because those resort fees they don't have to share with some of the third-party vendors. Like, that's the main know, reason. Expedia. Yeah. Whatever. There's there's basically two reasons. One, that's one of them. Mm -hmm. You know. Now they they have to pay commission on the base rate to the OTAs, the online travel agencies. Mm -hmm. And when they they you know they, they could charge thirty bucks for a room and fifty bucks or forty five bucks for a resort fee, and they're only going to pay the, the the commission on the on the base part. Correct. And so you know they're saving a lot of money doing that. Mm -hmm. The other is so that they can advertise the the lower rates. Right. You know? So when you go online and you'll see uh, rooms for thirty five dollars, but then they have. Uh, you know, fifty dollar resort fee on top of that, and then they have taxes and on top tax of that. on top of it. You know, you know yeah. I mean, it just keeps building and building and building. Yeah. Um, you know, there's there's now a bill being proposed in Congress mm -hmm. to eliminate junk fees, mm -hmm. and so there's a lot of talking about this. I was on uh, KNPR a couple of days ago this week. That's right. With uh, this journalist uh, Birnbaum, mm -hmm. um, who wrote this great article, uh, Vital Vegas did something on it. Uh, everybody's talking about it. You know, and uh, it's it's just a big deal because there just seems to be no end. Mm -hmm. So here's some other interesting information, though. In Vegas, uh, the cheapest, the cheapest resort fee, El Cortez. 
Of course, downtown. $23.95, but that's the cheapest. Mm-hmm. It's still 24 bucks. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's quite a bit. Whiskey Pete's, way out in Prim. Yeah. Even they charge a $22 resort fee. Okay, so that's really the bare minimum you're going to get is $22. If you want to, yeah, if you want to cost, you know, count that 40 miles away at the at the California yeah, border. Yeah, Prim's really at the, right, that's not a Vegas, Las Vegas casino. No, it's not. And, uh there's three, well, there's two places in Vegas that do not have resort fees. There's, there are two casino hotels that do not have resort fees, and a third, mm-hmm. if you want to count, which I'll tell you in a minute. So that's Four Queens downtown. I knew that one, Four Queens, yep. and? Binion's downtown. Okay, and Binion's. So those are two hotels that don't have any resort fees, so right. you, you pay for what you get. And now Casino Royale at the Center Strip, they have a Best Western Plus. Mm-hmm. So there are rooms there at Casino Royale, and they also do not charge a resort fee. But that's it. Those are the three yeah. casino hotels in Vegas that do not have them. One note about Casino Royale, they also don't uh, charge for parking. That's right. No parking there as well. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, you can park there. There's plenty of places to park in the garage and all, and there's there's no charge there. So they're doing you, you know, they're doing you a solid on that. Right. But it's the best Western. It's not a Vegas, you know, you know, fancy resort. So if you can get something in the 30s and 40s, that's a great deal. Uh, but now MGM properties are going into the 50s and, and above, and probably other casinos are going to be following suit. Yeah, and who knows, you know, where it stops. Yeah. And, uh, Again, it, this is a Vegas thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, six percent, meaning that most places around the country are not charging these fees, mm-hmm. but they're doing they're doing it in Vegas. And again, that's because they're so tied in with the you know with the OTAs, and they're backed into a corner, and they're trying to find ways to, to squeeze out more revenue. Right. Everybody wants their piece of uh, of the pie. Right. Uh, but there is a silver lining here, right? And that is that uh, compared to other big cities that you go to, even with all the resorts fees and the parking fees and the taxes and all the nonsense, uh, you still have pretty relatively uh, low prices on, on yeah. really nice hotels here in Las Vegas. Well, this this was the discussion we had on KNPR. Uh-huh. And they're, they're like, this is horrible, horrible, right? I go, well, it, it is on one hand, and on the other it isn't. Because when you, you've got to just think about... In your head, put the resort fee right on top of the base price, and that's your room price. Right. And now go compare that to a room in San Francisco or a room in L.A. or New York or Boston or anything like that, and you see that you are still getting a great value in, in Vegas rooms. It's just everyone hates the way they add it on. That's right, because they need to do something psychologically to just say, here's your fee. It's $150 a night. And then if you go look at what it costs to stay in Los Angeles on the Sunset Strip, you know, you're looking at $350, $400, $500, $600 a night. And and that's it. Yeah. So, again, it's just the way that they present it that uh, is unpalatable to people. Yeah. All right. So, Anthony, before we end this, I got two questions. So, one, is there a way to avoid... Uh, resort fees, and then two, like if you're a player, can you get comped out of resort fees? Okay, you know, good question. For the first one, almost no way out. Okay, I mean they are they are rigid. Yeah, and I mean sometimes you know if you're friendly and blah 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 and all that stuff, you know they've got the power to to rescind those, mm-hmm. but they almost never will. Mm-hmm. And I've heard story after story after story of people saying, you know, I I did everything, I used every trick in the book, and I could not get the resort fee mm-hmm. taken off. So they they're tough on that, and it's hard to get out. Comp rooms, it, it depends on the place. Mm-hmm. Most of them charge the resort fee. They'll give you a comp room, but they'll still charge you the resort fee. Yeah, and you yeah. know what? I've had that happen to me many times, and I call that a good deal. Yeah, you know, right. Yeah. You know, you say, look, I can, I can stay at Palazzo, yeah. and it's going to cost me uh, 45 50 bucks or whatever because I have to pay the resort fee. Well, who wouldn't pay that? Yeah, it's great. You who know? cares? So sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. I know, yeah. I know guys that are so rigid that they just won't do it. If they're mm-hmm. going to charge them, even if they're, they're going to comp the room, mm-hmm. you know, these are gamblers I know, they're, even though they're going to comp the room, they won't do it because they get mad about having to pay the resort fee. I think you should look past that and say, hey, I got a good deal there. And in this week's Jackpot of the Week, this is a special one because uh, this was really cool. We actually got to meet Jason last week at the um, Downtown Grand Tournament. But let me read the story uh, on the email that he sent in. Uh, it comes to us from our new buddy, Jason V. Uh, Yesterday, I went to the Palazzo to pick up my brother so we could go to the Blackjack Tournament at the Downtown Grand. And while waiting for him to come down from his room, I decided to play some video poker. Two hands in, I hit the jackpot in the high limit room. My big jackpot to date and dealt at that Hmm. unbelievable this was the first time my brother has ever played in the blackjack tournament and he came in third and in the money i gave him some basic blackjack strategy before playing and i told him that i credit anthony's books with all of my tournament knowledge that's right p.s i hit another four aces no kicker later that evening for eight thousand (laughs) dollars 
<laughs> wow. All right. So we almost weren't going to do a jackpot of the week this week, but this one was too good, right? I mean, what a massive hit. He was, well, first of all, he was on his way to play the tournament. Yeah. You know, $25 tournament. Meanwhile, he figures he'll play some $25 a hand video po- I mean, $25 Denom video poker, $125 a hand. Right. That's a lot. And folks, if you haven't looked at the number, he hit for 50 k Yeah. Right. So he was playing uh, 9-6 double-double bonus. Mm-hmm. That's a 98.98% game, almost 99%. Not bad at all. Um, second hand, I mean, he must have loaded the thing with 1500 bucks. Yeah, that's just a, right. Shoot some time, right? Yeah. And, and he pops for fifty grand. I mean, that's, uh, that's quite a story. And then he, yeah. then, then he, uh, he hot foots it down to downtown Grand to play the $25 tournament. I know, right, and, and get the hot dog. There, there's, a, there's a man across <laughs> all boundaries and levels, right? Yeah. Jeez, oh, man. That's um, cool. But, you know, mentioning the, the, the tournament books he was talking about, mm-hmm. you know, we do two tournament books that are really good. Uh, one is Casino Tournament Strategy by Stanford Wong. That's the one that, you know, uh, I studied on. This was mm-hmm. Stanford Wong's uh, when he put together his tournament team that I played on. This was his, his research that he had put into, into um, uh, spiral binders mm-hmm. and, and, and gave to all of us to uh, – to study, and he turned it into a book. The other one is called "Play to Win" by uh, Ken Einiger. That's right. I've heard you talk about that before. Good, good book, which uh, it you know it it tells you it gets in a little bit more deep. You know, Wong's thing is just the how tos, the nuts and bolts of how you should play your hands. Um, the "Play to Win" is a little bit less technical and but also very strategy oriented. Okay. Um, two good books for people, and then also on our website we have these blackjack forum articles with several articles about tournaments. So anybody who wants to learn about tournaments, uh, this will get you there. Okay. Uh, one other thing to say, because uh, I know we're going to the downtown grand today, uh, later today. Uh, last week, Anthony hit the aces with the kicker at the furnace bar. That's true. And l- last week, Andrew won the video poker tournament for the fourth time. I know. My, my fingers were on fire uh, last week. Amazing. So, And by the way, I squeaked out of the, the first round into the, the second round by just getting flushes and, and, you know, a few full houses maybe. And then same thing. Uh, getting into the finals, I squeaked by with very low scores, and I got so lucky in the final to get uh, a four of a kind. Well, all you got to do is make the finals, and then you're instant four of a kind. I mean, you haven't missed yet. You make the finals, you get four of a kind. Never taking second, third, anything when you're yeah, in the finals. Yeah, yeah. You only win. Well, I'm going today. Uh, I'm going today. So try to uh, try to take it, take away my belt or my prize or you know whatever. And uh, we'll do. Yeah, and we'll, we'll cheers you a beer if you win. And that's it for this week. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Remember, the more you share the videos, uh, the more you like, the more you comment, uh, the more, I guess, the algorithm works in our favor. So uh, please do that. Uh, Maybe we'll see you Saturday uh, at Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club. Anything to add, Anthony? Uh, Nope. Just uh, beware the resort fees. They're going up.